Hey everybody, how you doing today? I wanted to uh, share a little bit uh, about my acting career with you guys because I feel that it's really something that I've had a desire to uh, start for some time. And now that I'm finally getting in the process of actually doing it, uh, doors are opening for me. And I'm really appreciative of that. On Friday, uh, I went to do background work on a film and the director liked my acting so much that he actually gave me a speaking role. Which, you know, to me that's, I mean there are no words to describe how awesome that is. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where if you're focused on your goals, the universe opens doors for you. So uh, the movie that I'm going to be in is, uh, and it's a small part, but it's still a part, and it's one step closer to my uh, SAG card. The movie that I'm going to be in is called uh, Job's Daughters, or Job's Daughter, sorry, and the director is Emilio Rosa. Uh, so. Basically, uh, you're going to be seeing me in a film next year, and it's fantastic. Um, the way things are going with headshots and demo reels and a lot of that stuff is I'm fairly certain I'm going to be getting an agent uh, within the next couple of months, I hope. Uh, I'm really committed to that, uh, and I'm doing everything I can to reach my goals in regards to that. So, uh, one of the things that has been helping me keep track of uh, all my auditions, of course, is a uh, audition, actor's audition blog, which uh, I think if you're going to be serious about acting, you really need to have a good, um, a good grasp of, you know, organization in regards to your auditions and everything else, because basically you are a business. You can say, yeah, I'm just a creative artist, and yeah, but you're still a business. Uh, you're still marketing yourself, you're still doing everything you can to sell yourself, because you are the product. You want a director or a producer or an agent to say, yeah, that guy is right for the role, and we're going to pay him money to be in a role. That's what it is. So, I'm really really glad that I've um, started on this career path and I do want to give a ton of thanks to my friend Tim who has really uh, been there to encourage me in regards to everything I do because really without him um, I, I'd still be in a very dark place uh, on many levels and uh, he really is a good friend. And, uh, yeah. You know, and that's, that's really a lot of what success is in life, is having those healthy social connections. Having people in real life who love you and care about you. So, Really, and I mean, I, I could go into a whole long video, which, uh, I, uh, which I won't, about how uh, society has kind of lost touch with uh, personal interactions. I'll do that in another video, maybe. But in the time being, uh, I want to uh, give a little bit of info to some of you who may be interested in getting into acting. Um, I went down to Samuel French Bookstore, a bookstore here in LA, and uh, I bought some books that, uh, and this has been, I bought this a while ago, back when I first started uh, taking acting classes. And what's really kind of cool is with my acting classes, one of the other actors who's in uh, Job's Daughter is uh, in my acting class. So that's really kind of cool. Um, I got to touch base with them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just 
a lot of it's about being genuine and authentic. And I need to be a lot more authentic here on YouTube. And focus on my business and just walk the walk instead of just talking the talk. Which far too many people here on YouTube do. So uh, without further ado, the books that I've gotten from Samuel French, I got this a while ago, is uh, just basic books on this one, Getting the Right Agent. Personal Managers. How to Get Your SAG Card. Casting Directors. Extra Casting Companies. And of course, the right photographer. Now you might be asking me how often do they update this information? And that's a good question because um, these, for example, the casting director, the agent, and the personal managers, they update those about, I think, um, like every three months or every four months because the way the industry is, you can, uh, you, you have people getting in and out of the business all the time. And these books are really well written, really well thought out. Uh, let's look at, for example, the, um, the one on personal managers. It gives you a bunch of information in regards to the nature of getting a personal manager and all that other stuff. Then, at the back of it, and all the books do this, uh, they have where all they do is, see this, this, this much of the book is just on uh, different personal managers and whatnot that you need to call if you want to get a personal manager. Now, I'm not quite at that stage yet, but I'm getting there. Um, you may say, well, how are you going to get an agent? Because that's pretty hard. Well, first of all, I already have one step closer to an SEG card. That's already something that um, a lot of first-time actors uh, don't get. I mean, th there's people who work years and they don't get uh, uh, a speaking role on a film. So I, again, the universe is opening doors, call it God, the universe, whatever. It's my calling. It just is. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. The demo reel stuff, uh, I'm going to be getting the, I found a company that's going to be doing scripts uh, that they basically write you scripts for your character type. They send those to you. You rehearse those, you memorize them, etc. Um, then you get the demo reels done. It's worth the money to do it. And then once those are up, uh, then let's see the headshots properly formatted. Uh, demo reel, resume. Our resume doesn't have that much on it though at the moment, except for two student films and uh, the speaking role on that, uh, on uh, Job's daughter which uh, I think that in of itself will carry some pretty significant weight. And also because I am a character actor and I do have a unique look, uh, I think a lot, of, um, a lot of agents will be looking for me in regards to certain shows. Uh, I know, for example, you know, I, I'm not going to get cast on a show like, uh, um, I can't even think of some of them right now. Um, you know, some, some show about glamorous people, I'm not going to get it on a show like that, right? But, you know, some show like Supernatural or True Blood, or not, True Blood, maybe, um, Vampire Diaries, those kinds of things, I will be getting work for those. 
Uh, you know, it, it's always good to have character types. Character actors, from what I've heard, have a tendency to get more roles. Um, let's look at somebody like Gary Oldman. He's got a very uh, classic, good look to him, but he's also a, an excellent character actor. And a lot of times, um, well, I, I don't want to slip into generalities because I honestly don't know enough about the industry to make a whole bunch of generalities. Although, I can share what I do know, and if I happen to be wrong, then, you know, I'll say that I'm wrong. Um, the extra casting company, one interesting thing that I've been told about extra work is that um, once you get an agent, you're not allowed to do extra work. So, because basically, say you sign up to be an extra in something, right, and it's, you know, you have to be there, you know, three o'clock on a, on a Monday, and then your agent calls you 9 a.m. Monday morning and says, hey, you gotta be down for this audition on such and such a time. What do you do? Do you say that, oh, I can't do it because I'm being an extra? Do you just drop out of the extra work? Um, it's gonna piss a lot of people off. So, basically, once you get an agent, you know, extra work, you don't want to really touch it. Also, another interesting thing I found out, as far as being background, you can do background for film and for commercials, but don't be a background for a TV show if you want to be on that TV show. For example, say somebody said to me, Nick, we want you to be a, uh, a background actor, a background character, on, um, I don't know, uh, Green Arrow, right? Now, if I said yes, and I was to, did a background work, and then, like a month later, they said, well, here's this role opening up on Green Arrow, um, I wouldn't get it because I've already been a background actor. They can't, they, it's just basically what they, how they do that, how they work it. Uh, and that's understandable. And especially with my face, I have a very unique look. And so even if I'm background, people are going to notice me. They're going to go, wait a minute, wasn't he in a previous episode as a background actor? What's what's the deal there? Um, so it's a bit, but as far as TV, or as far as movies and commercials, it's fine. Now, um, yeah, I guess really that's all I want to share with you today about the acting things. Oh, I feel so good. <sighs> anyway, uh, so I will cut this short and uh, wish you a wonderful week. Bye-bye.